hello and welcome to my channel blue chip finance in this video uh, we are going to discuss about the project analysis part 3 which is the extension uh, of previously discussed uh, two videos of project analysis project analysis is a topic of corporate finance and in this particular video uh, we are going to discuss about break even point break even point is a point at which uh, your profit becomes zero uh, so there are two uh, different ways uh, to calculate break even point uh, one is accounting break even and the other one is uh, NPV break even or net present value uh, break even answers of these two are uh, totally different uh, from one another so let's start the video to see the further calculation so first question is that IBM makes computer circuits by treating material. Each circuit can be sold for $80. The material cost for a standard circuit is $20. The fixed costs incurred each year for factory upkeep and administrative expenses are 100,000. The machinery cost to million and is depreciated straight line over 10 years to a salvage value of zero. So one requirement is that what is the accounting break even level of sales in terms of number of circuits sold and what is the NPV break even level of sales assuming a tax rate of 40% or 10 year project life and a discount rate of 14%. So first of all uh, we are uh, going to calculate break even in terms of accounting break even so first important thing is to get the data so what is the selling price of circuit is $80 uh, variable cost is 20 per circuit uh, fixed cost is 100,000 cost of machinery 2 million or 20 uh, hundred thousands dollar or simply you can say that 20 lakh salvage value zero life of machinery is 10 years so first important thing uh, to is to calculate the depreciation so depreciation under straight line method is simple that cost of machinery minus salvage value uh, or you can say residual value or you can say scrap value uh, divided by time period so cost of machinery minus uh, scrap value divided by time period so cost of machinery is 20 hundred thousand scrap value or solvage value is zero divided by 10 and your yearly depreciation is uh, 200 thousands uh, after that as we know that profit is equals to total revenue minus total cost and break even uh, level profit is considered to be zero total cost uh, is equals to fixed cost minus variable cost plus depreciation uh, so fixed cost is 100,000 variable cost is uh, 20q uh, because uh, variable cost is always dependent on number of units sold and we don't know about the number of units uh, at which our uh, profit becomes zero so we just simply place here q uh, plus depreciation is 200,000 so total is after summing or simplifying this equation it will become 300,000 plus 20 q and total revenue is uh, it also depends on the number of units sold which we don't know so per unit price is 80 so it will become 80 q and now we uh, will apply the equation uh, profit approach to zero equals to total revenue minus total cost total revenue is 80 q minus always use brackets here uh, because when we open the bracket 
uh, whole scenario will be changed uh, because uh, due to this minus sign, uh, this inner sign will be changed. So total cost is 300,000 plus 20 Q and after opening the brackets, it will become 80 Q minus 300,000 minus 20 Q. After simplification, uh, it will become uh, 300,000 equals to 60 Q. Uh, this minus 300,000 when it goes to the other side of the equation, it will become plus 300,000. So Q will be finally equals to 5,000 uh, units. So we can say that uh, when we uh, sold 5,000 units, uh, we can achieve break even point. So at 5,000 units of selling, uh, we are able to get the break even point at which profit is equals to zero. So in order to uh, earn profit, uh, we must uh, sell units more than 5000. Now we come to the uh, another method to calculate the break even, but it that method is entirely different uh, from this method and uh, there uh, uh, in NPV method, uh, the answer will be entirely different because of the tax rate. So here, uh, data is same $80 uh, selling price, variable cost 20, per circuit fixed cost 100,000, cost of machinery uh, 200,000, solvage value zero, life of machinery 10 years, and tax rate is 40%. Uh, so, uh, in NPV, uh, as you know, uh, that in the calculation of NPV, we need cash flows. So, first step is to calculate the cash flows, which we already discussed in the previous chapters, that how can we calculate cash flows. So, cash flows uh, equals to uh, one simple formula is 1 minus tax rate multiplied by revenue minus expenses excluding depreciation. Mind it that this expense means excluding depreciation. Uh, so which means that uh, expense total expense is equals to uh, fixed cost plus variable cost only uh, plus tax rate multiplied by depreciation. So 1 minus 0 0.40 tax rate is 40%, it will become 0 0.60, multiply by revenue is ATQ, fixed expense is uh, 100,000 and uh, variable expense is 20 uh, per unit, so 20 Q. Uh, here uh, we change the sign, uh, we uh, just skipped uh, one step uh, in which uh, we can place that ATQ uh, minus bracket uh, 100,000 plus 20 Q. So we just open the bracket in one single step. So plus 0 0.40 multiplied by depreciation 200,000. So 0 0.60 multiplied by this ATQ minus 20 Q equals to 60 Q uh, minus 100,000 plus 80,000. And after simplification of all this, process it will become finally 36 Q plus 20,000. Now we are able to apply the NPV formula. So NPV formula as you know well because a lot of time we already discussed this formula that it is equals to minus initial cash outlay uh, plus cash inflows multiplied by NVT factor. So NVT factor uh, we need two uh, important things. One is interest rate or discount rate and another one is time period. So discount rate is 14% and time period is 10. So first of all, uh, we are going to calculate the uh, PVIFA factor uh, because of similar streams of cash inflows. So one plus one minus one plus i raised to power minus n divided by i equals to 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.14 raised to power minus 10 divided by 0 0.14 and that should be equals to 5.216. So that is your NVT factor at the rate of 14% and 10 years. Uh, now uh, NPV uh, as we uh, took uh, profit equals to 0. 
due to break even point similarly in this way uh, we also take the npv equals to 0 because uh, we are calculating a break even point so that is why we assumed npv here as 0 so initial cash outlay or your initial investment is 2 million or you can say 20 hundred thousands minus 20 hundred thousands or minus 2 million uh, plus uh, your cash flow cash flow you calculated here 36 q plus 20 thousand so just you simply placed here and multiply by nv nvt factor uh, this minus 2 million when it goes to the other side of the equation it will become plus 2 million equals to 36 q plus 20 thousand multiply by 5.216 annuity factor and after the calculation it will become 1895680 equals to 187.776q and finally uh, you get the answer here that uh, you will have to sell 10095 units uh, to approach the break even point under npb method so after this question there is a question which is taken from your book uh, diamond doesn't diamonds make synthetic diamonds by treating carbon each diamond can be sold for 100 dollar the material cost for a standard diamond is 30 dollar the fixed cost incurred each year for factory upkeep and administrative expenses are 200,000, the machinery cost 1 million and is depreciated straight line over 10 years to a solvage value of zero. What is the accounting break-even level of sales in terms of number of diamonds sold? And what is the NPV break-even level of sales assuming a tax rate of 35%, a 10 year project life and a discount rate of 12%. So um, you should try this question to solve. It is similar to this previously discussed question uh, so just data is changed here uh, so try to solve this question after that uh, we take one more question that stereo incorporated can produce many audio systems that will be sold for 60 dollar each uh, so your revenue will be 60 q uh, non depreciation fixed cost are 700 a dollar per year and variable cost are 30 per unit so your fixed cost is 700 and your variable cost is 30 q uh, if the project requires an initial investment of two thousand uh, dollars so your initial cash outlay or your initial investment or your initial cash outflow is two thousand and is expected to last for four years so time period is four years and the firm pays no taxes, tax rate is zero. What are the accounting and NPV break even levels of sales? The initial investment will be depreciated straight line over four years to a final value of zero and the discount rate is 10%, 12%. So here uh, data is given as we already discussed. So first step is to calculate the depreciation so depreciation equals to cost minus solvage value equal, uh, divided by life of machinery so 2000 minus 0 divided by 4 equals to 500 so annual 500 depreciation is required here after that uh, profit equals to total revenue minus total cost and at break even level as you know that profit is considered to be zero so your total cost is fixed cost plus variable co cost plus depreciation fixed cost is 700 variable cost is 30 q and your depreciation is 500 so after simplification it will become 1200 plus 30 q total revenue is 60 q because per unit uh, selling price is 60 and you don't know about the uh, number of units sold at break even point so it will become 60 q and now just apply the formula of profit which is equals to total revenue minus total cost so profit is considered to be zero here and total revenue is 60 q minus total cost is 1200 plus 30 q and when we open the brackets this sign will be changed so after simplification q will be equals to 40 so 40 units must be sold to achieve break even point and here uh, proof is all so given uh, so you can consider it now we turn uh, to uh, solve the break even 
under npv method so npv method uh, for that purpose first important thing is to calculate the cash flow and cash flow is equals to 1 minus tax rate multiplied by revenue minus expenses excluding depreciation plus uh, tax rate multiplied by depreciation uh, in this question uh, tax rate is equals to zero so one minus zero uh, is equals to one revenue is 60 q and expenses is minus 30 q minus 700 excluding depreciation and your depreciation is 500 multiplied by tax rate which is equals to zero so it will become zero so after simplification it will become 30 q minus 700 multiplied by 1 equals to 30 q minus 700 so your cash flow uh, will be 30 q minus 700 and your initial investment is two thousand dollars and uh, next important thing is to calculate the annuity factor for npv npv as we discussed earlier that it is equals to minus initial investment plus cash flows multiply by annuity factor so your annuity factor uh, at 12 percent and four years it is equals to 3.037 so just we simply this minus 2000 when it goes to the other side it will become plus 2000 equals to 30 q minus 700 multiply by annuity factor so it will become 2000 equals to 91.11 q uh, minus 2125.9 and after simplification and calculation q will become 45 units so under npv method at zero tax rate uh, you will have to sell 45 units in order to obtain the break even level so after this question one another question uh, is similar to this previously discussed question uh, is given here for your practice which is taken from your book of corporate finance chapter project analysis uh, modern artifacts can produce keepsakes uh, that will be sold for 80 dollar each so uh, your uh, revenue will be 80 q non depreciation fixed cost are 1000 per year your fixed cost is 1000 variable cost will be 60 per unit so 60 q if the project requires an initial investment of 3000 dollars your initial investment will become 3000 and is expected to last for 5 years and the firm pays no taxes what are the accounting and npv break even level of sales the initial investment will be depreciated straight line over five years to a final value of zero and the discount rate is 10 percent and in b how do your answer change if the firm's tax rate is 40 percent so this question ko zaroor try kare in dono practice problems ko problem six or problem seven ko or is ke baad project analysis ka एक पेंडिंग टॉपिक है और वो है डिग्री ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग लेवरेज डॉल डी ओ एल तो फर्दर आने वाली वीडियो के अंदर हम उसको डिस्कस करेंगे और देन आफ्टर द डिस्कशन ऑफ डॉल दिस टॉपिक प्रोजेक्ट एनालिसिस विल बी ओवर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डब्ल्यू ए सी सी वेटेड एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल सो स्टे सेफ स्टे ब्लेस टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड अदर पर्सन अराउंड यू थैंक यू